We're pretty sure we found it. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. You have a look, make up your own mind, and see what you think. G'day everyone. We're um, up here at the Walls of Jerusalem track. Just heading up the Trappers Hut. And we're gonna head down towards Lake Adelaide. It's Stretcher Creek. There's remains of a hut, probably from about 1920s it was built. Now, Simon Cubitt, who many of you may have heard of and passed away a few years ago, started the search for this hut in about 1992. Um, he came up with the Deloraine Walking Club. They never found anything. And there's been a lot of people, spent a lot of time up here looking for this. And two weeks ago, we think we found the uh, site where it is. So we're going today to have a better look, confirm what it is, and well, hopefully this will be the end of a 30 year search. Uh, yeah, see how it goes, talk to you later. Ah, Stretcher Creek. There's the mountain in the distance. So we're going to head down Stretcher Creek Marsh here, down to the scrub, and uh, yeah, see how we go. Well, we've got to be in the right spot then, don't we? Yeah, so some... Righto, we'll see what we can find in it. It's a bit thick. Thick scrub. That was Hal's plane down there, wasn't it? With the yep. with the chicken scratched in it. Now he's just one of his descriptions. They used to walk a couple hundred meters out from the hut and they could look down to Hal's Plains, which is down there under Lake Royal and watch the chicken scratching around the hut. So yeah, we're in the right place. A bit more evidence here. Look at this. This tree's being ring barked a long time ago. Obviously he's dead. But uh, probably ring bark to let it die for firewood. Who knows? Ah, there's a scrub. So we're wandering around it. Oh, wandering around, he's still looking for this hut. Now. Richard Field was a big stockman in Tassie, had leases all over the place. Uh, he got a lease up here in 1913, and his stockman was Alec Burney. So I reckon that's who the hut was built for. So, but then the next story I visit, 1923, there was uh, Bill Lee was up here with a few of them hunting. Anyway, Harry Jackson had an accident. He um, hurt his foot pretty bad. They didn't reckon they were gonna get him out, so he said, knock me in the head with an ax. But anyway, they got him into the camp here, and that night it snowed and it was snowed that much they were stuck here for the next four weeks um, every time they tried to bust the track out it would snow them in again so eventually they made a stretcher to try and get him out and they got him as far as the creek where they they just couldn't do it but they left a stretcher there and that's how it got its name stretcher creek hut eventually they got him out got him down to the bottom so there you go 
all we're gonna do now hopefully find the chimney um I'm pretty sure this is where it is but we're just gonna find it we'll head over to paula here she's found a blaze in the tree some, and another ring bark so ooh, more tree stumps so we'll head over there and see what we can find found some more tree stumps and we're just heading over here Paula found another blaze tree so we're gonna have a look at that that's a pretty substantial tree it's all gone There we go, there's Paula. There's another ring bark tree. And there's a notch cut up here. So uh, there's something in all this. I was looking because somewhere over here is the dog kennel. Ah, dog kennel. Oh, maybe it's a chimney, but we reckon it's a dog kennel, so we can't be far from his hut. Another good stump, and there's a short section here, about six foot of him that they've left, but the rest of the tree has been cut off, it's gone. We've got to be close, look, more stumps. Ah, this scrub's so bad though, we've just got to stumble on it to find it. This big stump here. Um, yeah, so they've had their shoe in there. And there's the rest of it. So we've been back a couple of times since I filmed this video. Haven't found anything else. Maybe it was a dog kennel, maybe it was a chimney. The ground in front of it's pretty rough, so we're leaning towards a dog kennel. Um, Never found the, found the chimney otherwise, but who knows. Anyway, it's always a good day out. Thanks for watching. Well, that's the end of another Tasmanian adventure. That was definitely the side of the Stretch Creek hut. Whether it was a dog kennel or a chimney, uh, we'll keep thinking about that one, but um, turned out a good day. So thanks for watching and uh, see you all next time.